Hello everyone, welcome to or back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lexi and today I am so excited to share with you these new customization tips and tricks with iOS 14 on the iPad. And this is so exciting because I have been working so hard to find all of these different features that you can do with iOS 14 and I know there's been so much about the iPhone and actually if you haven't seen my video on how to customize your iPhone with iOS 14 on your iPhone, please check that out now because it is really awesome as well. But the features on the iPad are very different. So without further ado, let's get right into this iPad iOS 14 customization video. Also, before I get started, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video because I love you all and your support means the world to me and it helps me out a lot. So thank you so much for doing that in advance and let's get into this video. So to start out on the iPad, there are so many different features because there is not an app library like there is on the iPhone, but I have actually tried to find some ways around it. So what I've done on my iPad, as you can see, is I have made myself a little home screen and then put my other apps on the side. And I'm sure you've already noticed that I've also customized my apps as well but we will get to that and I'm so excited to share that with you as well. But first of all, for this little like docking area on the side, it does not automatically show on your home screen unless you tell it to. So that is why you see when I press and hold and hit edit home screen, it starts shaking and there is an option on there to keep on home screen. And I tried to find ways to get around this, but it is only available in landscape view. So when you turn your iPad back, on vertical it is only when you swipe over so I wish I could fix that but I just haven't figured that out but still I mostly use my iPad this way anyways so it's not that big of a deal and it still looks super cute this way so that is fine but if you're not familiar with Widget Smith yet that is how I made these cute little calendars so again if you have seen this in the iOS 14 video on iPhone from me or anyone else, you probably already know how to do that, but just really quickly I want to show you with the Widget Smith app. And actually while I'm doing this, I'm going to show you now on iPad you can write into any search bar and it will type it out for you and help you find things. So that is another thing that is super cool with the iOS 14 update that you can literally type into any field that involves text and it will convert it to your typing instead of writing so that is really really cool especially me who's always holding my apple pencil and has to write anyways it took me a little bit to get used to but literally i started doing this a couple days ago and i've already gotten super used to it so that is really cool but just really quickly showing you how i did this so as i've said before if you see my other video you can make a widget that's always there or a widget that comes up at certain times so I have mine as a default. There's all these fun options for time, date, custom photos and text, calendars, different things. And honestly guys, they really keep adding stuff. There's already so much being added. And I said that in my iPhone video, but seriously, they keep adding stuff. So that's super awesome. So once you finish editing the font and colors of everything you want to make it fit your aesthetic, you can go back to the home screen again, press and hold. And now you can also press and hold anywhere on the screen. It doesn't have to be right on the icons, which is also really cool. But you hit the little plus sign in the corner. And if you don't see exactly Widget Smith on here, which it is the bottom one, you could also search in the top. But when I click Widget Smith, it asked me. So I just made this medium sized widget. So I'm going to hit add. And there's my widget that I made. And right here is where you can switch. But I only have that one made. So that is that. And again, I'm just going to delete this since I already have it on here. So that is how I made my home screen. And when I swipe over, you can see I have all my apps over here. But again, I could not find a way to get rid of that because on iOS 14 on iPhones, you can like hide pages and obviously the app library. But on iPad, they have not done that. So maybe that'll come in another update. But for now, this is what I'm working with. And honestly, it's not too bad because I can still have my nice and beautiful home screen. So next, guys, you don't understand. I have been going so hard at 
making these custom apps and it was making me crazy because I could not figure out how to get right onto the app because like for messages it wanted me to put a specific person to text or a specific action. I was like, why can't I just open the app? So after clicking around for way too long, I found a way around it. So first things first, backing up, you will need to download the shortcuts app on the app store. So I'm actually going to use my app store icon to show you. So searching in shortcuts, you will find this app right here and I'm going to open it because obviously I already have it. So you can see I have a lot of them going on, but just I'm going to make one to show you. So I already have YouTube obviously because I love YouTube, but I'll just show you how I made it. So first thing you will want to do is name your shortcut. So mine is going to be YouTube. Done. I'm going to have to name it YouTube too. Sorry guys because I already have one. So the next thing I'm going to do is hit done. And then you have to hit scripting which is the part I was missing. And that's where you will hit open app. So when you hit open app you then hit choose. And again you can search YouTube. And it comes right up. So now it is set perfectly. So I just hit the three little dots. Add to home screen it is already named YouTube 2. Then when I go in to YouTube, I go to my photos. Here I have this little YouTube icon that I made to use. Add. And now on my home screen, I have this little YouTube 2 icon. So I just love that because when I open it, it really does go and bring me right to my YouTube homepage. And that is amazing for me because it is a beautiful looking app now and goes perfectly with my aesthetic. So I'm really loving that I figured this out and I'm sure you guys will all love it as well if you choose to do it. But going back a little bit on this, to make the icons for my apps, I use Adobe Spark Post. So that is what it looks like as you can see on my screen. So when I click on that, you can see all the things I've been working on. But hitting the plus sign, I'm going to click Solid Color. And the great thing about Adobe Spark Post is I have all my brand colors in here, which I have changed a little bit. I don't exactly use all the same ones anymore, but I still have the one I have been using for all of my icons. So I'm going to hit next and I want a square. So then it always brings up my text, but I don't need that right now. So I can just delete that and add, you're going to choose add icon. And on here you can search for whatever icon you want. So obviously I was working on a FaceTime one. And I like this little camera. So I'm going to add that. And then when you get on here you can literally change the color of it. Which I like the white. And resize it. Hit done. And export it. So it's super easy. You can do this on your iPhone as well for your apps. But I just really love it. Right now for the iPad and that's where I've gotten started for the most part. So that is how I make all of those little icons that you are seeing on my app. So I'm going to keep working on that to get as many of my everyday apps as I can. But I really think I'm off to a good start on that especially with how long it took me to figure it out. So you can obviously see now in the dock that I have a couple things open from opening those. And I have a few more custom apps but just something really fun that I highly recommend adding because it makes me so happy to look at those. So now what I want to show you is all of the cool new things you can do with group messaging and I'm so excited about all of this because I am always like behind on group messages and I always want to add in when I'm doing that. So here is how you go about doing that when you are like me and honestly it's just cool in general. So First things first, you can now mention people in group messages. So when I type in my friend's name, so Rachel, and you do have to have the emojis for some reason. So it does do that. But now it'll show up her contact so I can tag her in the group message, which is super cool, and send the message. And it will now mention her, which is so cool. And I did, as you can see, I warned my friends that I was doing this so they would know. What's also really cool is that you can also reply to these messages. So this is an old message, but I can still hit reply and it'll go directly to that message. So I can say, 
Cool. And send it. And now it shows one reply under the message. So when you click on it, it shows both. But also at the bottom of the screen, it shows the replying to everyone. So that is something really cool that I will definitely be utilizing a lot and I absolutely love it. And the mentioning is also really cool because if you have a group message muted, people can at you and you will still get the notification. You have to go to your messages in your settings and when you get here, you can go to where you see mentions right here. That's where you can turn on to notify me. So again, when someone enters your contact and chooses to mention you, that you will get a notification even if the group message is muted. So that is also super cool if you're in a crazy group message that you don't normally keep up with or like check all the time, that you will know when someone is directly talking to you. So I really love that feature as well and will definitely be using that one a ton. Okay, so moving on to some more iPad iOS 14 customization tips and tricks. There is a new cool way to find your photos and keep track of them and, you know, just add a little more to them. So I'm going to search for the photos to show you. So when you open up the photos app, as you can see, all my photos are here and most of them are my dogs and YouTube stuff, you know, the usual. So what I wanted to show you is that now you can add a description to your pictures. So I love this because I lose track of pictures all the time and, you know, locations help and people in pictures help sometimes, but I, who has 41,684 photos as well as 3,793 videos, really struggles finding things. So now this is going to be huge and I'm loving it. So here I can add a description. So you just pull up a little bit as you saw and I named it this one app icon, which now that I made this new FaceTime one, I am also going to name it and done. So what makes this feature so cool, like I said, is that you can search for things based off of the description you gave them. So when you go down to search and hit the bar, I can type in app icon. And now, as you can see, all of my app icons are on here. And I just wanted to show you, like you can't see my screen already, but I just think this is the coolest thing ever. And I absolutely love that you can do that because it's going to keep me very organized. And I also did it with just one picture from my 21st. But you can see it right here with the little caption. Shameless plug if you haven't seen that video, you know, check it out while you're on my channel. But I'm just loving this new feature to photos. So definitely utilize that and check that out because I think that it's super cool and super helpful. Okay, so this next one I do realize people might think is a little creepy. But I honestly think it's really cool and I love things like this. I am such a tech person it would make my whole life smart if I could but you know eventually in my life I will work more towards that but for now this is really cool so heading over to settings and accessibility scrolling down to sound recognition so I turn this on I have not turned on any exact sounds yet but on here you can have a notification run for any of these sounds being picked up by your device so I just think this is really cool, especially if you have like AirPods in and it'll send you a message like, yo, someone's knocking on your door, the doorbell, your dog's barking, like any of these sounds, if you can't hear it because you have headphones in or you're doing something else, it will pick up. I have not tried it yet. Maybe I'll try it now actually for your entertainment. So I'm going to turn on the door knock and swipe up and see what it does. And it came up. A sound has been recognized that may be a door knock. That is really cool. You guys just watched me try that for the first time here. So I'm definitely going to be utilizing that one because I just think that is really amazing. And for me who is never paying attention to things like that, I'm gonna love that. So there are clearly so many cool new things you can do with iOS 14, but I'm just gonna say again, must have apps are Widget Smith and then Shortcuts app. And that will give you your amazing home screen appearance but I'm just having so much fun playing around with these new things and will keep sending you these things as I find them myself. If you have any tips and tricks that I did not mention in this video please write them in the comments, reach out to me on Instagram if you don't follow me there. You know make sure you do that because I love keeping up with you guys on there as well 
But thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was super helpful and your iPad or iPhone, whatever you use these for, ends up looking so amazing and fits your aesthetic and vibe and it's just another reflection of your personality because I always think that that is so much fun to do. Also, if you have not yet, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that like button because I love to keep you guys around and your support means the world to me because I love you all so much. So thank you again for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys.